Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for more tutorials, tips and tech discussions. Today we're going on an exciting journey, uh, setting up our own home lab using Hyper-V, the key component of the micro ecosystem. This setup is perfect whether you're studying for certifications or just curious about network administration. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I recommend using a machine with at least 8 GB of RAM and an SSD. Of course, the more RAM you have, the better. This will ensure your setup runs smoothly and efficiently. And that you also have a copy of Server 2022. Uh, you can download the evaluation version, which I will provide a link to in the description. I'll guide you through the initial setup of Hyper-V on your system, so we'll configure the necessary settings to get our server running optimally. I've already created a separate video on how to enable Hyper-V on Windows Home Edition, which you can check out if needed, uh, and if you're using Windows 10 Pro like me, you can skip right to the activation of the features and rebooting our machine. So we're activating the Hyper-V feature, just copy this command, you open our terminal as an admin, we paste it and we restart our machine. Next we will use the server 2022 template to create our first virtual machine. So let's create a new virtual machine by opening our Hyper-V manager. Creating a new virtual machine. Let's call it template. size doesn't really matter, you can choose anything you like, you can uh, always increase the size. We select our ISO, in this case Surf 2022. And let's start our machine. So after the initial um, installation of Server 2022, I would recommend installing the updates. I'm not going to do this in this uh, demonstration. Uh, and also enable .NET 3.5, which I will do in this demonstration. It's pretty easy. Go to our roles and features and make sure your ISO is still uh, connected to the machine because we will need the source SXX, uh, SXS uh, folder to enable our uh, .NET. And on the features we select framework 3.5, press next and make sure you specify on alternate source path, which is our folder on our ISO. Press next, press install. To start our sysprep, we open PowerShell as an admin. We navigate to the C Windows System32 sysprep folder. We start sysprep. .exe slash 
out of box OBE slash generalize and slash because this is a virtual machine we will use the mode PM and we will specify the shutdown command press enter and give it a minute And the machine will shut itself down. Next, we'll download our home lab scripts. I'll leave a link where to download the necessary files on GitHub. You can download them as a zip file. You can extract these files to a location to your liking. I'm choosing the C drive. Now we need to adjust the config files, uh, especially the config file and the answer file based on our needs and to find out the network settings for our default Hyper-V switch. You can use the command prompt and enter ipconfig slash all. So this is the information we need for our default uh, network. So we open in our files the remote desktop services. Now see here our JSON config.json file. We open it with a notepad. We adjust our IP settings based on our default configuration of our default Hyper-V switch. We can also adjust the names for our domain controller, remote desktop, gateway, host 1 and 2, which virtual machine will be our domain controller, where to place, where we have placed our uh, template file. The gateway is important that we use a specified IP address. The DNS will be your domain control in this case. And this you can also adjust based on your domain name. So in this example, I'll use homelab.local. So all our machines will be homelab.local. The uh, password you can change and the username you can change. It's very important that these settings here also matches the unattended file. Let's open it also with Notepad. So in the unattended uh, file, which we will use for our uh, template, you can also change the organization. And most importantly, if you change the password, you also have to change it here and here and also for the administrator accounts. To prepare our template, We also provide the correct link to the file. And if you want, you can change the path for all the uh, new created uh, machines. Very important because this is a JSON file. 
you have to change the backspace tab to a double. Just a heads up, because uh, by default, IPv will always create uh, checkpoints. Make sure to delete the checkpoint and change will be merged in the uh, virtual hard drive. Give it a minute. And now we'll see that we have only one file. We can double click it to open it. And give this message that's not initialized but you can ignore it open disk management and you will see the virtual hard drive temporarily assigned partition and now you can copy over the unattended xml file into the root of the newly created uh, template. You can detach the VHD. And now we have all the prerequisites. So we have uh, a Hyper-V installed, we have administrative rights, we have sysprep template, we have provided an answer file with the same username and password as in our JSON file. We have edited VM names, IPs. We have set up the domain controller configuration that we like. We've provided everything uh, from our setup uh, details for our remote desktop. We've provided the template path and we've set up the network configuration. So next, We'll have to navigate to our folder, which we have used to download our files. So in this case, it matches. Open PowerShell as an admin. Navigate to that folder. Set the execution policy to unrestricted. And because we have downloaded the files, we have to unblock the files. To run the script, you have to run the main uh, PS1. And now we have to let it run. This can take some time. You will see, we'll start with domain controller and depending on the speed of your machine it can take uh, take from a few minutes to maybe an hour uh, because it will make uh, several machines and at any point you might be asked to provide uh, credentials and at that point it's a very important that you provide the same credentials that you have entered in your configuration file. So let me open them again. And these will be your uh, domain credentials. So make sure you use a prefix home lab in this case, administrator as a uh, username and the password. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this guide helps you set up your own home lab using IPv. If you have any questions or need further cl clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and thank you for watching.